fuck? <laughs> but you don't play it to fuck around. Hello, it is I, Aku, the Bushido King, coming to you live from deep within the pits of Tartarus. And yes, my fellow Bushido warriors, it's that time once again. I'm so excited. This episode is fucking amazing. Um, okay, let's just jump right into the fray. Let's do this review. Um, first off, I, I have some key points that I have um, broken up into sections, parts that I thought that were really interesting in the episode, so we could... Um, Go straight to this part here. I'm gonna lower the volume down a little bit. Yeah, they really want to pick up any copyright bullshit on the channel because you know my previous channel got shut down for that. So let's just see here. All right. Now in this episode we have the introduction of some major characters. Well, at least for this this series of arcs, I don't know how long this arc is gonna be for. This weird little guy that has a pacifier on his fucking um, on his net, training to become something. Apparently, he's the protector of the water, some mystical water that grants you um, incredible powers. Um, that fucking um, moon is pink. Yeah, anywho, um, we have these guys. Whoever the fuck they are. <laughs> and and the thing is, right, it's so cool that, like, <laughs> first seeing that character, you think that, oh, he's so fucking badass, he's gonna be something, and then he's just really not anything. We have Monaka. Um. This is all interesting. Let's see. Oh shit, let's get burned. Right that. Let's see. Control. We don't want that. Yeah, what the fuck is this machine that she's making? What is it? Is it a purification machine? Because they have like, like shit behind there. It looks like some kind of like gunk. It could be a purification. I wonder if it's gonna play into the next episode after this because looking back at it now, it might be a purification um, machine. Because look, it, it shows some some blue gunk here, All right? And and, and the thing is, while I was watching the episode, I was trying to figure out what what was the purpose for this? What what was the reason? For having this machine, what is it? What's its purpose? What is it does? And they really need to explain it. And then, as you see later on in the in the episode, they went to the planet and everything, go ten and controls with the planet. And then they're gonna come into contact with some other weird water. So I don't know what that's all about. But I love go ten and trunks in this episode. They <laughs> the little guy is always getting mischief, man. Yep. This was cool. Let's throw that down a little bit. This is really cool, man. <laughs> Troll bots. So, is, my question is, is who does this sword belong to? Maybe it's a little um, hint. Maybe it's a hint. Maybe saying the, old, um, go, the older, um, the older trunks is coming, you know, next month. Possibly. This is some really good animation this part. Look at this. Look at this. You can really appreciate the animation here. They really put a lot of work into that. Look at that. That was that was stellar animation. Let's go back a little bit. Look at that. Really good man. This definitely the game for this these um past episodes. I'm really really happy about that. Uh <laughs> Monaka is a really interesting character, though. Very interesting. This is funny. 
No, he's listening to like the Milky Way radio station thing, and <laughs> they they talk about they they were talking about um you know they were gonna read some letters and stuff and like <laughs> from the great Ponta right and then they put it zooming on his nipples. <laughs> Hilarious! I like he, he has this, this weird, this weird thing about him. He's like a, a freak. I mean, like he's like getting all excited because you know he's he rolls into the, the to the radio station and he said that um you know he does his job and he does everything and he delivers everything, but when he gets fragile items, he gets excited. I don't know. That sounds like a sexual innuendo to me. I just just saying. So if he gets fragile packages, he gets excited. Okay, interesting. <laughs> All right, and he discovers the guys at the back of the the, tra the trailer, frozen to shit. <laughs> the old guy. Right, the the whole guy at the beginning that you thought were actually was actually strong because when I saw him, I was like, "Yo, he looks pretty cool, and badass." But he fucking ordered a martial arts magazine to learn martial arts to fight the bad guys that's coming to take the water. That's in the I'm not gonna give it away. I'm just gonna show it. <laughs> it's so it's so fucking hilarious. These characters look retarded. They look really 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 dumb. So through the whole skirmish, let's see here. Yeah, when the guys go in and the rest bust them up. I and it, I, this is looked really cool. I thought the guy was gonna like do something like yeah, I'm gonna fight, fucking beetle motherfucker. <laughs> I mean like from the polls he looked strong. So I think it's an ongoing, an ongoing joke you now where they say like oh that person has a fucking strong stance and then it turns out. Oh, uh, motherfucker's weak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it weak? <laughs> Monaka. <laughs> yeah, this is some really good animation here. Really Dragon Ball Z-esque. Esque, sorry. Some real good. Really good seeing the, 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 the little guys get some action. And next week, it looks like we're going to even see more of, it, more of it. But I like some of the writing in this episode. Especially kind of like... Uh, see, like he looks back and notices the the pacifier on the ground, and it does choose not to do anything because he's gonna come back and get it. I think that, but well, I want to say that um, some of the editing after that, let me see if I get to it, was a little off to me. Like the pacing, like okay, they went there. Okay, well, I guess it works. He went over there looking, and then they, they came back and just took it up. But yeah, right, because that doesn't say it. It was a little off because they were just because like I said they were just there. They right here. Make it back. Pull my knock on the ground. See, okay, they're here, right? They're there. So it would it would imply that some time has passed. So and that's that's what that's my little problem there with this part of the episode here. Because it, it, it wasn't really indicated that time has passed. So it just it just felt like they just walked from there to there, and then then the guys are there and they have the 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 the, the key. No, it didn't it didn't make much sense to me. But anyway, my nitpick is it's still still fine. <laughs> yeah, it's a pacifier, a fucking pacifier, fucking hilarious. I love Dragon Ball. So they decide to tie them up instead of kill them. You know, basic uh, villainy one on one. And these guys can break the ropes. If they choose not to, I don't know why not. Maybe they wanted to see the whatever. Fucking pacifier goes in a padlock upon a fridge. The fridge, the the locks, the lock and the chains light up and then they disappear. How the fuck does that work? I don't want one of those. Just saying. And it's a fucking fridge. Mind you, an old style fridge too. By the way, you see those old style fridges? They are the best. I had one. Those shits. Freeze. Those are. That is truly. Now, that's actually not a fridge. That's an icebox. 
freaking ice balls. <laughs> then we have this thing of water here. Oh, and something that I found was very interesting. Um, I think they use a lot of some some of the ideas that they have, like in GT and Dragon Ball Z. They like especially GT. I find that they're using that some because, of, like for instance, Pan looking into space and you know wanting to, to, to basically visit those other places that are grabby stars and stuff. Kind of similar to what she was in GT. So you know, certain things in GT you could bring you know bring or reintroduce into this series. I think I'm liking what they're doing there with that. But this here looks just like Mar uh, Margin Boo or I would say uh, Baby from Dragon Ball G. So it's clearly an eye. So this thing is a, is like a living organism. So it's a parasite, basically. Just like, like Baby. So they're pretty much using that plot point for this mini art, which is cool. Well, yes and no. This is really funny. And I like I like something else that they use. Let's see if I, could, if I could get to it there quickly. Yeah. Um, how to realize that? What? How she realized that they were missing? She checked the security cameras, and I like that. That is. That is good because it, it made sense that she would do that because that is the type of person that she would be, you know. She has all this equipment and stuff and you know, she'd be checking for her son because, you know. I, I just think that that was interesting. Did they had to go all that out? I mean, stuff granted, but it made the episode flow much better, you know, getting everybody where we need them to be. <laughs> I just love fast writing, it's so hilarious. <laughs> yeah, just fast writing, just fast writing. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, it's annoying, but it's hilarious. <laughs> this guy is such a weirdo look. I mean, this fucking Playboy magazine pulls or Playgirl, I don't know. And how she, I love it how she braved him. Oh, right, get back, get back. Oh shit, what's the bar? Oh, she braved him. And then tell him that. <laughs> that face. That face. Oh my god, that face. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> oh man, man. Trying also for just shit. I love it, right? And um, <laughs> but you just like, take care back, care back. Oh, shit. yeah, he's in the fucking spaceship, right? He was like, <laughs> that fucking fiend, man. Nobody, right? Nobody in the history of anime has an epic scowl like Vegeta. Shit, I'm oh, going back, going back to work. Uh, yeah, ah. Uh. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, nobody has epic skull like Vegeta. Jesus. Epicness. Goku only had a planet training. He's back to normal. I thought he would have been in this episode, but clearly he's going to be in this episode, which is interesting. Yeah. All this is really cool, man. All this is a lot of fun. Right, so now they all have this purple pinkish thing. I don't know if it's, it's like water. I thought it was like a gel, like a jelly type of thing, but it could, it, it looks like that, a jelly type of um, material. And then we have Papa. Hey, Papa. I mean, they're having pretty weak if they're using fucking guns and shit. We will talk about this later. Yeah, I mean, all this was fucking amazing. I, I was just so excited. And he goes in his stance. Oh, this is so cool. I just love it. Look at this fight scene. Uh, uh, uh. 
all animated beautifully. I don't know, I think this type of life form, it tries to... I don't know. Can you vaporize it? I can't remember if he was able to... You know, he killed them. No, it just... It, it can't vaporize this game. It just goes to the ground. Mm. Yeah, so it's like a parasite. Is a parasite, yeah. Attaching to the body and then disseminating, probably creating a, a, a copy. But it's not just like, it's not exactly like um, baby, uh, baby, baby skates, no. It's not like baby or um, boo. But I think it tastes your powers. Uh, we can do. Yeah, pro most likely we can do. Yeah, most definitely. He looks just like baby. It looks just like baby with the light. Like baby with the lines. L look at it. You know how baby had the lines. Yeah, look at it. It looks. Like, oh fuck. Look at it, it looks just like baby. So they use like I said, they're using plot points from Dragon Ball GT, which is cool. I think that I, I think everything they should bring about 17 and kinda of do like a, a thing with him where he gets about gets like stronger and stuff, but not ne necessarily making a villain, but you know. Yeah. Next week's episode preview. We're gonna take a look at that quickly. Go ten is is that it? Fighting against his his, his clone father, <laughs> Monaka and his fake nipples. I finally, I don't. Well, whatever nipples there are, there I don't know. Heal for us. Okay, so it doesn't look like he lost all of his because he's still right. He lost his power, but not he's he can still do things, but he's not that strong. Superhuman water. <sighs> and Vegeta's body is turning transparent. So is it that he takes the power and then the, the, the original horse loses its start becomes try to be starts to become non-existent. I don't know. How do you beat it? This is interesting. This is very interesting. So you're gonna have a fight. <laughs> yeah, he started turn started turn on spirit. I don't know what the fuck is all that about, but yeah. Um We're gonna see God 10, Super Saiyan 3 next week. But um yeah. Um that was a fucking amazing episode. A lot of uh, interesting things they're adding to the, the series. Um I just I don't know how long this art is gonna last for, but um Here's hoping it's a good one. And that's this episode looks like it's gonna be good too as well. But um yeah, so um thank you guys for watching me. That was the review. You can stay tuned after this part for the my raw reaction to the episode. So um thank you guys for watching me. I'm a cool, peace out.